hard to see, but we're here at Lake Michigan on at sunset. And I just thought it was fitting to be able to bring you here and uh, watch the sunset. And um, this gentleman who we're gonna see today has really big thick nails. You've seen him before and he's just a great guy overall. So enjoy the video. How has your summer been going? Good, man. Good news yesterday, or two days ago, I had a stress test. Yes. And, uh, a cardiac stress test? Yes. They okay. did that because I had the loop recorder and they didn't know why I couldn't remember. Well, I went in for a stress test and my, my heart rate was supposed to be between 125 and 147. Well, I was having such an easy time, but I, they kept asking me questions and I found out later, later why because they, uh, they got it to 155, I think. But I kept talking and talking and they kept asking me questions and I said, and I wasn't tired. I wasn't getting tired at all. Wow, and I know I've done one of those stress tests. Okay. Those, are, those are tough. You know, and I, and I didn't have any problem at all with it. And they said, um, wow, you know, I had two before you know, years ago, mm -hmm. and they tried to, my target rate was supposed to be 155. I was on the treadmill at Abbott Northwestern for over a half an hour, and they couldn't get it to 155, hmm. both times. And then this time, I'm feeling better now than I've felt in years, you know. Are you exercising more? I'm, I'm on my feet between 8 and 12 hours a day, every day on my own house, inside and out, remodeling it. Mm -hmm. I've got two garages, and so I'm completely redoing everything because we've been in there for over 49 years, so it needs res restoration. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, on your feet for eight to 10 hours a day? I says, how much do you walk? I said, I don't walk much anymore. I says, I'm on my feet all the time anyway. Okay. So the doctor told me, or the, the one that was three doctors, actually two doctors and a physician's assistant and I guess nurses aide and all that. And, uh, Who came in and, did, and talked to you after the stress test? They are talking to me during, well one of them was talking to me during the stress test. Okay. They kept asking me questions and they said there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. They said but you have to wait for the results. Yeah. And then the doctor that put the loop recorder in, he'll be notified as to whether they're going to keep it in or not. Or would I, you know, if you decide where I do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just felt great. I still feel great. So this loop recorder is something that's implanted? Yes, it's implanted. It's a little tiny wafer that's okay. uh, above my heart. That's just recording? And, and it's a, it's, it, it, it checks your EKG 24-7. Mm -hmm. So it watches your electrical activity in your heart 24-7? Yes, it does. It, it records, it sends information in uh, about 2 o'clock in the morning every day. Okay. And it also, if there's an issue with my heart, it automatically notifies them. Okay. And it doesn't matter where I'm at, you know, wherever I go, I've always got this monitor I have to plug in by me if I go visit my son. But I don't need to take it with me because it's like, it, it sends a signal almost like a cell phone, I guess. Yeah. Over Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah. I've never had any problems with it. Okay. Where what I, was the initial problem? That the initial, the reason they put it in is because I couldn't remember what happened during the accident. Okay. So they thought I might have had a medical issue. Well, okay. I just couldn't remember. My wife says I remember everything because I steered between two trees. I was, it was road rage. These two vehicles were, were um, racing each other. One come up one side of me, one come up the other side of me, and, and it was the second, I was in the second accident, the first accident happened where there was a semi-truck that dynamited the brakes because he was avoiding an accident. Well, then I moved over, I looked over at 494, see this is right where 494, 694 come together in Maple Grove and they turn into Interstate 94. Mm -hmm. So I was on the Interstate 94 and uh, 
I was directed down between two trees, kind of like a pit maneuver. Yeah. And uh, the video, there's, it was... Uh, oh, the traffic cam video? The traffic cam, communications, lights, you know. And between the three cameras, they said I was going 62 miles an hour Which when is... I hit the pole. Wow. And uh, they, they, they thought, you know, they thought, first of all, we were dead, but we weren't. We both survived it. And uh, so I'm here talking to you about it. Yeah, wonderful. That's good. Yeah, you know? yeah. Anyway, no, I've, I've been very fortunate. My wife has been too. Right, so but her racing days are over because she's got PTSD. Well, and you said she had a traumatic brain injury. We from both that. did. Yeah, we both did. And that's the only issue that I have. I uh, I can't remember. I'll remember you and, and that, but uh, you know, I'll know old faces. But if I meet new people, mm -hmm. the next day, 90 90 percent of the time, I'll know who they are. Ten percent, I won't remember I ever met them. Wow. Well, that's me too. So okay, you know. No, so that, that comes with old age, I guess, more than anything. So I might have been that way, be, be coming that way anyway. Yeah. But the accident is what they attribute to because I had, yeah. I had a bad head injury there. But I'm doing good. Well, you're with us, so that's, yeah. that's something. Okay, here we go. It always looks good to me anyway, but it did look, it did look especially detailed to me. So what's the have that time? Yeah, so it's been a good summer. Um, my mom was supposed to come from California today. Okay. Uh, today's my birthday. The oh, happy birthday to oh, you. Oh, thank You're you. You're 39 today? Again, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, but she got COVID. Oh, no. And we were going to, she was going to fly in and we were going to go to Door County, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go on my own. I mean, what, what else can I do? Got this one little callus right here. Okay. 
it gets a little, tr a little, little trouble getting my socks on sometimes. It's a snag, you know. With this? With with any with my feet. So oh, all of your nails. I, yeah. By the time I get in here and get this taken care of, they slide right on now. Yeah. <laughs> Before that, I have an awful time trying to get them on because it always snagged. Them. Yeah. Uh, well, you just got uh, just one thread is all it takes. Yeah. So. airs, I will actually be in Door County. Oh, you will? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll just, I don't mind traveling alone. And uh, you meet interesting people that way. You do. You do. So, you have to meet a lot of interesting people in your profession, that's for sure. You know, I do. I have, I have really interesting patients. I have really fun patients. Just overall, I've got really great patients. That's so. Great. Thank you for letting us do the video. Oh, you know, it's my pleasure. And I'm always here to help. Yeah, and I'm glad to hear that your stress test went oh, yeah. uneventfully. And we'll see you back in a couple of months. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it.